tire slide out of here. All right, guys, 2011 Porsche Boxster Spider 987.2. This is probably my favorite car I've ever driven. Uh, this is a very rare car. It's got the manual bucket seats, uh, factory radio and AC delete. Uh, a lot of upgrades to this car as well. It's got the Catalyst headers with the Porsche Sport uh, exhaust as well, uh, track brakes, Paget RS 29s, uh, track rotors, track suspension, full rose jointed lower control arms, drop links, tow links, uh, thrust arms, uh, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Um, you know, uh, this thing, uh, sway bars as well. Um, I really wanted to get everything that would dial in this steering. Um, and let me just show you why this is my favorite car. She was like to drive. It really is just the tits. So I'm out here in the countryside. It's hard to get more power out of as do the bolt-ons, but uh, nevertheless, they're all here um, You can see what it sounds like, you know, so this is gonna be a four to third downshift with the exhaust off a Little rev match can't really hear it exhaust on four to third I really like this car. I believe it's the lightest modern water-cooled Porsche uh, ever made. This car weighs around 2,800 pounds. Uh, Six-speed manual transmission. Uh, the three dials on here. It's just designed to have fun. You know, I'm out here in the country, nice horses, etc. And this isn't about loud times for me. This car is nearly sideways half its life. Bouncing off the rev limiter every other shift. Uh, when I first bought this car two and a half, three years ago, it had 18,000 miles on it. I put 12,000 miles on it, on my own miles. And uh, and the top down experience as well. It just, uh, once again, I'm not out here for lap times or racing for money, so I'm, I want the most enjoyable experience I can get. And having this mid-engine platform, it rotates so easily. The back end steps out if you wanted to. It sticks if you wanted to. I've got a 911 Cabriolet, and that's, I call it the wine cruiser. And that thing is so hard to get sideways <clears throat> around like a 90 degree turn, kind of like this. So, let me just show you a little bit. We're kind of driving it into the sun.
day. So I wanted to document what it was like to drive this car on the uh, the back roads here. Um, for those of you who say they want a PDK in this car, I'm sorry, but you're just wrong. Uh, this car is not fast enough to want a PDK. Uh, over the summer and spring, I've been able to luckily drive my friend's GT4 RS, and that's a fast car. And in that car on these roads, like, a little bit, you, you kind of want a PDK. Um, on, on, with this thing, though, the top's down, you know, you just, you want to do all this shifting yourself. Two degrees camber front and rear pretty much uh, zero toe uh, maximum caster I think it's around like nine nine and a half um, and uh, this thing is just so fun you know it's not gonna be the fastest car out there but this is one of those cars that you can drive like 10 tenths on the road you know and it's fast you're gonna be going real fast at 10 tenths in this car do not be mistaken. But to drive like a GT4 RS, a lot of these GT3s at 10 tenths, I mean, you're, you're, or a, a GT2 RS, forget about it. Forget about it. You're gonna be hauling. 
You know, if, if I work hard in this car, I could probably hit like 110, 120 on a back road. In a 4RS, you're hitting like 160. And you know, for what? Who needs that? Just these downshifts. It really is just the best. So our tires are warmed up. cars if you don't have if you don't have PSM off they're, they're, the computer interferes so much with your driving and you're gonna have purple rear calipers if you keep that PSM off on so even though it's off it's still on it's still there for us right now I'm driving in Birkenstocks I'm sure you can see them down there. It's the summertime. It's 70 degrees. And this thing is just the tits. Car 
gets used every day. Um, it's it really. This is the bootleg budget Carrera GT. Um, and man, you can drive the wheels off this thing. You know, they're, they're, they're relatively affordable. Relatively affordable. You know, I think probably today, August 2023, you can get one for like 60 or 70. It's definitely a high watermark ish for these. I think the highest one I saw in Brinkshire was $111,000. That was Banana Town. I mean, I wish this car was worth 100 grand. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's worth 90. Manual and buckets are hard to find. But, uh, you know, the 981 Spider is nice. You know, you do get the TFT gauge over here. I can't tell how hot my oil is. I can't tell what my oil pressure is. It kind of sucks. But if you just wait 10 minutes for your car to warm up, you know, you're, you're, you're good to go. I've never, I haven't had one issue with this car. That's a lie. Uh, the shifter cable snapped on this maybe a year ago, so I put the numeric cables in here. Um, interior is pretty much stock. Um, you know, if you, if you have any questions at all about what this car drives like and anything, I really, anyone who has one of these cars, you're very lucky. Drive the shit out of this thing. It just wants to be driven. It's such a good car. Um, it's your friend. Again, the top-down experience out here. I, you know, listen to that. I mean, it's like, what more do you want? You know, it's, you know, what more do you want? I'm probably gonna go past this car and uh, <clears throat> continue on my way, but I hope you guys enjoyed the drive. Uh, this is kind of like a, a first pass video review of this car. I, I, not too much quality. I, I got a GoPro on. I wanted to put something out there in the market <clears throat> of what it's like to own. I, all I do are oil changes and that's it. Oil changes and tires. I only maintenance I do on this car. And uh, the DFI engine's amazing. It's a lot more reliable than the uh, Gen 1. The Gen 1 uh, Caymans and...
in this car and say it's the best car they've ever driven. If Porsche made this thing today, like this, like this car sits, people would poop. They wouldn't know what to do. Out of control. The roof, don't worry about the roof. <clears throat> that roof is for washing your car only, essentially. You know, if it's gonna rain, you know it's gonna fucking rain. You know, you, you don't take it out. You know, you, you, you do something else that day. But the roof works fine. I've been in a rainstorm in there. I never had an issue. That roof comes on to wash my car and that's it. videos on this channel it's a hobby this isn't my main form of income or entertainment so you know thanks for watching until next time <laughs>